Good morning, dear students. This is your teacher Neela Melawat, and we are doing chapter chapter eleven, that is biotechnology, the principles, and the various processes. Now, in the previous video, dear students, we have talked about the two processes. Initially, we required three things for the recombinant DNA or the technology to process. First was the restriction enzymes. Second is the cloning vectors, and third is the component. competent host isn't it and these three methods so you can see these three tools we are able to produce a recombinant dna now in this particular session we'll be talking about the various processes of recombinant dna technology now in recombinant dna technology dear students there are several steps and that too in a particular sequence okay so we know that there are several steps we'll be doing we'll be following several steps okay we'll be doing we'll be talking about the several steps and these all steps they are in a particular sequence so let's talk about the, those steps first here comes all our steps first the isolation of the genetic material that is the dna that is the first step second is cutting of dna at the specific locations third is amplification of gene of interest using pcr fourth is insertion of recombinant dna into the host cell fifth obtaining the foreign gene product and the downstreaming downstreaming process after completing these all steps only a specific protein is released into the market okay so let's talk about each step in a partic in a defined sequence so we'll start with the isolation of the genetic material that is the dna now dear students we know that dna is a genetic material in most of the organisms or basically i should say nucleic acids they are the genetic material isn't it because dna is is one of the nucleic acids and second thing the restriction enzymes are used to cut the dna from the specific sites ek hamara jo genetic material hai wo dna hai dusra hum ye jante hain ki dna ko hum restrict enzymes ki help se parts mein break kar sakte hain but we always need to understand that restriction enzymes they can only act upon the dna only it's in pure form okay so restriction enzymes they are only able to break the dna when the dna is available in the pure form that is it is free from all macromolecules we know dear students the dna is present inside the membranes okay we know dna is present inside the nucleus and it is covered by the nuclear membrane and then it is covered by the cell membrane so to release the dna from the cell okay we have to break these cell membranes we have to break the nuclear membrane then we have to break the cell membrane also then only the dna from the cell can be released along with the other macromolecules like the rna the proteins the polysaccharides and the lipids because dna is always associated with these macromolecules so once the dna is released from the nucleus or from the cell membrane then it all other components they are also released that is rna proteins polysaccharides and the lipids now to release the dna we have to break the cell now this particular thing can be achieved by treating the bacterial cell with lysozyme now suppose we have to release the dna of a bacterial cell then in that case we will treat the cell with, with lysozymes and we are using if here we have to treat the plant cell with cellulose cellulase and if it is a fungus then in that case we have to treat it with an enzyme which is called chitinase so we'll be using three enzymes to break the bacterial cell the plant cell or the animal cells like lysozyme in case of plant cells cellulase in case uh, sorry lysozyme in case of bacterial cell cellulase in case of plant cell and chitinase in case of fungus cells 
now once the cell is broken dear students it will release the dna as i told you as you can see in the picture we are treating these cells with with the various enzymes respective enzymes and then we'll be will be getting the dna will be released from these cells and other macromolecules they will also be released into the solution okay now this particular solution this particular component then this will be treated with treated with with chilled ethanol theek hai jaise ki aap dekh sakte hain ye aapka dna jo hai precipitate out ho gaya hai okay so as we know the dna dna is the the specific part of the dna is called a gene the functional segment of dna is called a gene and these genes they are always connected with the proteins like the histones because dna is your negatively charged molecule it is always associated with the basic molecules like the histone the proteins so to remove the rna we have to treat the cells with ribonuclease to remove the proteins we have to treat it with protease and to remove other molecules we have to give appropriate conditions now after this we'll be treating the dna with chilled ethanol ab hum kya karenge is solution ko chilled ethanol se treat karenge so immediately dna will be precipitated as fine threads in the suspension okay it will be precipitated in the form of a in the form of fine threads as you can see in the picture like in this manner the dna will be precipitating out right and this dna it is removed by spooling as you can see in the picture we are removing the dna from the precipitated dna from the ethanol solution the second step is cutting of dna at the specific locations we know we have talked about the first step that is isolation of the dna now second is we have to cut the dna at specific locations we know which type of enzymes will perform this process yes the restriction enzymes isn't it we are talking about this these particular enzymes from the beginning of this chapter now we have to break the dna into specific parts now to break the dna into specific parts we have to incubate the dna with restriction enzymes at the appropriate conditions now we have to uh, incubate the dna and the restriction enzymes at the appropriate conditions right and because of this the dna will break into segments as you can see in the photograph and this uh, you can say uh, broken segments are then subjected to the electrophoresis on a gross gel okay this this particular slide as you can see this bed as you can see it is it is spread with a gross gel and we will subject this gel to we will pass electric current through this gel now as i told you dna is a negatively charged molecule okay and when we subject it to the dna it to the uh, you can say we apply electric field to this solution to to the a gross gel then automatically the dna will move towards the anode because anode is positively charged so dna it will separate into different bands depending upon the size okay we know dna fragments they will they will separate out on the a gross gel depending upon their size okay as you can see in the picture the smaller size as you can see here they will move away okay the dna the smaller smaller molecules of the dna the smaller parts of the dna the smaller fragments of the dna they will move further while the heavier or the larger parts of the dna they will remain closer to the wells okay now this process is is also repeated with the vector dna like we are do doing it with the foreign dna means the gene of interest the gene that we want to produce in large numbers so that we have identified and we have isolated from that particular cell and we have subjected it to the a gross gel preparation now same process we will repeat with the vector dna okay is it clear so now we'll have the gene of interest and then we will we will have 
the vector DNA also. So we'll mix the both the uh, DNA, the gene of interest as well as the vector DNA and this will be joined by the ligase. I hope you remember the restriction enzymes, they will break the DNA into two parts having the hanging parts, having the sticky ends. So we can easily join the vector DNA, v vector DNA having a sticky end with that of the desired DNA, having the desired gene with a sticky end. And these two ends, they will be joined by the enzyme which is called as ligase and thus we will receive a recombinant DNA. Now at the end of this process, we will obtain a recombinant DNA. Okay? I hope you, it is clear to everyone. I hope you understood the concept so far. So we have done the two steps. First, what is the first step? Everyone tell me what is the first step? Yes, the isolation of the DNA. And second is the cutting of DNA at the specific locations. Now coming to the third step which is called amplification of gene of interest. Now what do you mean by the amplification? Amplification means producing multiple copies of the gene. जो हमारी जीन है जिसके जो हमारी जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट है जो जीन हमने आइडेंटिफाई की है रिमूव की है अब उस जीन को हम उस जीन की हम बहुत सारी कॉपीज प्रोड्यूस करना चाहते हैं ठीक है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एम्पलीफिकेशन एंड एम्पलीफिकेशन ऑफ द जीन विल बी डन बाय यूजिंग अ टेक्निक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड पीसीआर दैट इज पॉलीमरेज चेन रिएक्शन सो पीसीआर मींस द पॉलीमरेज चेन रिएक्शन so in poly uh, PCR that is polymerase chain reaction we will produce multiple coffee multiple copies of gene of the interest okay now for doing this for obtaining the multiple copies or the number of copies of the gene we will use two sets of prime primers and the enzyme DNA polymerase and this process will be done in vitro okay PCR the polymerase chain reaction in this particular process we will produce multiple copies of that gene and this process will be done in vitro and in this process we will be using two sets of primers and the enzyme which is called the DNA polymerase now let's understand what what is primase what are primers primers are basically chemically synthesized oligonucleotides means these are the small segments okay these are the small segments that are made from oligonucleotides and they have a complementary regions of dna okay ye hamare chote se oligonucleotides hain jo chemically synthesized kiye humne और इनकी जो सीक्वेंसेस हैं वो डीएनए के कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री होती हैं ठीक है नाउ सेकेंड इज द एंजाइम द एंजाइम विल एक्सटेंड द प्राइमर्स यूजिंग द न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स अब जो एंजाइम है हमारा दैट इज योर डीएनए पॉलीमरेज उसके लिए प्राइमर्स जो है वो बेस बनेंगे एंड ऑन आफ्टर द प्राइमर्स दे अटैच आफ्टर द प्राइमर्स दे अटैच विद आफ्टर द प्राइमर्स दे अटैच विद द डी then RNA polymerase will will bring about the, the synthesis of DNA. Okay? It will bring about the synthesis of the DNA. Right? And through the through this process that is called DNA replication, that particular gene of interest or the DNA, it can be amplified to produce 1 billion copies. We can produce how many copies? 1 billion copies. Okay, we can produce 1 billion copies. Right everyone? So 1 billion copies of the gene, of that particular gene can be produced. Let's understand this process. Just look into the picture. See, this is the DNA which is acting as a recombinant DNA. Here is our recombinant DNA. So we will subject to denaturation. So there will be denaturation. So through this process, the two strands of the DNA, they will be separated, right? Then we'll talk about the annealing process. In the annealing process, the primers will be added to the, this part. 
see we have added the primers here okay in this process primers have been added right as we know primers are the small segments of dna that have the complementary sequences right so we have added the primers now on this primer the rna polymerase that is your tag polymerase that will act and it will extend the dna so here we have produced two multiple copies of the dna ab hamare paas desired gene ki do copies produce ho gayi hain theek hai now this process will continue up to 30 cycles and we can amplify 1 billion times that gene that gene of interest will be amplified billion times or we can say we can produce 1 billion copies of the gene right okay now for amplification of thermostable dna polymerase thermostable means this enzyme can even work at high temperatures see we know dna enzymes they are proteins in nature and proteins they become denature denaturation process occurs at a high temperature right so this is a thermostable dna polymerase means when it is subjected to high temperature even at high temperature it will work okay so it will remain active at high temperature when the denature or denaturation of double stranded dna is occurring and this amplified fragment can be used to ligate with the vector for further cloning ab ye jo dna fragment hamare paas hai it can again be joined with a vector for further cloning like we can insert into the vector and we can again produce number of copies into that particular organism like suppose we have this recombinant dna now this recombinant dna it will be introduced into the plasmid so plasmid is your bacterial cell right plasmids they are present in the bacterial cells so when when the bacteria they will multiply then automatically this recombinant dna will also multiply and number of copies can be produced so let's take an example okay suppose if we have produced an enzyme let's take a gene of interest our gene of interest is gene of interest let's see use a different color the gene of interest here is the gene of interest here is a gene that produces resistance against the ampicillin dekhiye ampicillin jo hai wo hamari ampicillin ampicillin is basically an antibiotic okay so bacteria we have to produce bacteria that can survive in a medium that contains ampicillin okay generally the bacteria they cannot grow in a medium where ampicillin is present now we have identified a gene and when we insert this gene into the organism or into that bacteria then that bacteria can survive in the ampicillin medium so that means now the new bacteria will be referred to as the recombinants okay is it clear everyone new bacteria which can survive in the new medium they are referred to as the recombinants right okay now let's see so we have introduced uh, the gene of interest into the bacteria now this bacteria will multiply and produce number of copies of the gene and if this recombinant dna which is having the re, this rather i should say these recombinant bacteria now they will be allowed to grow on a medium which contains ampicillin theek hai only those bacteria will be able to survive in a medium that contains this gene the other bacteria will not be able to survive in the in that particular medium so this this gene you can say ampicillin resistant gene will act as a selectable marker so with the help of this medium which is containing ampicillin we can easily identify the organisms which can survive or which contains this gene from the organisms which do not contain the particular gene right everyone okay now coming to the next portion obtaining the gene foreign gene product dekhiye <coughs> gene humne bana li hai अब इस जीन से हम चाहते हैं जीन को हमने एक्सट्रैक्ट भी कर लिया है आइडेंटिफाई भी कर लिया है कि वो किस ऑर्गेनिज्म के अंदर मौजूद है ओके 
now we want that this particular gene should produce the desired protein right it should produce a desirable protein because the ultimate aim of the recombinant dna technology is to produce the desirable protein only so dna has produced from the dna we have identified the selectable gene then we we isolated the gene now we have inserted we have amplified we have produced lots of copies of the gene and the gene has been inserted into the plasmid and now we have identified the bacteria which contain that particular gene so from that the last step that we have is that we need to produce the desirable protein from that particular gene okay and the gene will express itself or you can say the desirable gene will express itself only under the appropriate conditions means it can only produce a desired protein the protein that we want only in the specific conditions okay so if a protein encoding gene is expressed in a heterologous host we call it as recombinant protein ab generally jo ye hai gene hai ye apne aap ko optimal conditions mein express karegi theek hai ab jis organism ke andar ye express kar rahi hai uske paas ye pehle ye gene nahi thi to uske body mein ye pehle ye protein bhi nahi tha so recombinant dna se hamara protein produce ho raha hai isliye hum ise kahenge recombinant protein now we know these cells as i told you that gene will be expressed only in specific conditions so the cells that contain the this desired gene they will be grown into the laboratory ab hum us desired uh, organisms ko un organisms ko jinke andar ye gene maujood hai ya un bacteria ko jinke andar ye gene maujood hai unhe hum laboratory mein grow karenge theek hai and fir hum in culture se jo hai wo desired protein extract karenge फिर इस प्रोटीन को प्योरीफाई करेंगे एंड देन विल सेंड इट टू द मार्केट ओके एवरीवन जिस ऑर्गेनिज्म के अंदर ये जीन मौजूद है अब उन ऑर्गेनिज्म को हम बैक्टीरिया में सूटेबल कंडीशंस में ग्रो करेंगे जिससे कि वो लार्ज जो जल्दी जल्दी मल्टीप्लाई करें दे नंबर शुड इंक्रीज एंड वंस द नंबर शुड इंक्रीज देन फ्रॉम द कल्चर वी विल एक्सट्रैक्ट द डिजायर्ड प्रोटीन एंड दैट डिजायर्ड प्रोटीन विल देन बी प्योरीफाइड एंड देन okay and it is purified and then it will be sent to the market right so we know the cells can also be multiplied in a continuous culture system ab hum hum chahte hain ki cells jo hai wo lagatar multiply hote rahe to hum unhe ek specific culture mein grow kar sakte hain and this culture can also be continuous culture medium right continuous culture medium mein kya hota hai ki hum ek side se suppose ye hamara vessel hai इस वेसल में हम एक साइड से न्यू मीडियम इंसर्ट करते हैं एंड फ्रॉम दी अनदर साइड वी रिमूव द ओल्डर मीडियम जो पुराना मीडियम उसके अंदर मौजूद है उसको हम रिमूव कर लेते हैं उसको हम ड्रेन कर लेते हैं यूज मटेरियल इज ड्रेन्ड आउट एंड न्यू फ्रेश मटेरियल इज एडेड सो दैट द सेल्स दे रिमेन एक्टिव ओके जो सेल्स हैं वो आपके लगातार एक्टिव रहेंगे एंड दे विल प्रोड्यूस अ लार्ज बायोमास मींस दे विल मल्टीप्लाई फास्ट एंड फास्टर सो दे विल प्रोड्यूस अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सेल्स एंड वी कैन इजीली ऑप्टेन द डिजायर्ड प्रोटीन व्हिच इज व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम दैट डिजायर्ड जीन नाउ फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस वी कैन यूज द बायो रिएक्टर्स ठीक है देखिए जो स्मॉल वॉल्यूम कल्चर्स हैं उनसे हम ज़्यादा क्वांटिटी में डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट को एक्सट्रैक्ट नहीं कर सकते हैं सो दैट इज़ व्हाई वी यूज बायो रिएक्टर्स अब ये बायो रिएक्टर्स क्या हैं बायो रिएक्टर्स ऐसे डिवाइस हैं एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दे यू कैन सी द शेप एंड साइज ये आपके आपके बायो रिएक्टर्स हैं सो बायो रिएक्टर्स का साइज काफ़ी है एंड द बैक्टीरिया दे केन मल्टीप्लाई in large numbers so basically your bio reactors they contain contain 100 to 1000 liters of the culture iske andar 100 se 1000 liter aapka culture process kiya ja sakta hai at one time theek hai so these bio reactors uh, these are the vessels which contain the raw materials and these raw materials they are biologically converted into specific products enzymes plants animals in the human cells and in a single bio reactor 1000 to 1000 liters of the culture can be processed at a single time 
and these bioreactors they will provide proper growth conditions like the proper temperature ph substrate salts the vitamins the oxygen which is required for that particular organism to grow well so all the desired conditions they are maintained inside the bioreactors so that the cells can those cells can multiply in a large number and we can easily extract uh, the desired protein from these cultures now basically a bioreactor has an agitator agitator means jo use rotate karega mix karega an oxygen deliver delivering system a foam controlling system like when we rotate something right if a device rotates continuously in a medium so it will produce foam so there is a device there is a control system which is called the foam controlling system then a temperature control system like it will maintain the normal conditions of temperature then the ph control system is there and sampling ports are there sampling ports means jahan se hum ek small quantity mein us medium ko extract kar sakte hain us culture ko remove kar sakte hain periodically so we have two basic types of bioreactors one is a simple stirrer tank reactor and second is purge stirrer steered tank bioreactor so do tarike ke reactors hum use karte hain aur us reactor ke andar hum proper conditions maintain karte hain theek hai if we talk about the first simple stirrer tank reactor let's talk about the first one theek hai hum first ki baat karte hain it basically contains a cylindrical और अ कर्व्ड बेस आप देख सकते हैं इस पिक्चर में दिस इज दिस फर्स्ट वन इज योर सिंपल स्टीयर टैंक बायो रिएक्टर ठीक है इसका कर्व्ड बेस है या सिलेंड्रिकल बेस होता है और कॉन्टीन्यूसली रोटेट करता है आप देख सकते हैं ये ये आपका कॉन्टीन्यूसली रोटेट करेगा दिस डिवाइस विच इज कॉल्ड विच इज फिटेड विद अ मोटर इट विल रोटेट कॉन्टीन्यूसली टेम्परेचर यहाँ रेगुलरली रीड किया जा सकता है एंड इट इज कंटिन्यूसली रोटेटिंग नीचे से स्टेराइल एयर जो है ब्लो की जा रही है राइट एसिड और बेस का जो पीएच है वो कंट्रोल किया जा रहा है जिससे कि ऑर्गेनिज्म उसके अंदर प्रॉपरली ग्रो हो सके सो क्योंकि ये प्रॉपरली रोटेट करता है सो दिस कंटिन्यूसली मिक्स मिक्सेस दी कल्चर विद दी ऑक्सीजन सो ऑर्गेनिज्म दे कैन ईजिली यूटिलाइज द प्रॉपर अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दिस सेकेंड इज कॉल्ड स्पार्ड स्टेयर्ड टैंक इसमें आप देखिए एक रोटेटर है जो कॉन्टिन्यूसली मिक्सचर को रोटेट करेगा एंड इन एडिशन टू दिस इफ यू सी राइट इफ यू कैन सी देर इज दिस डिवाइस दैट इंक्रीज इज द ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसफर एरिया यानी नीचे से कॉन्टिन्यूसली ऑक्सीजन इज बींग बबल्ड आउट इन टू द मीडियम नीचे से मीडियम के थ्रू एयर के बबल्स मूव कर रहे हैं सो बिकॉज बबल्स दे आर कॉन्टिन्यूसली मूविंग टू द मीडियम इससे जो है कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया बढ़ जाता है ठीक है ऑक्सीजन इट इज कमिंग इन द कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया बिटवीन द ऑक्सीजन एंड दैट ऑफ द सेल्स ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द मीडिया द कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया इज इंक्रीज्ड एंड दिस कड दिस वुड फर्दर इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो वी हैव टू बेसिक टाइप्स बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट और यू कैन से मोस्टली इन इंडस्ट्रीज वी यूज द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज अ सिंपल स्टियर्ड टैंक बायो ठीक है इज ए क्लियर एवरी I hope this much is clear. Okay, now coming to the last process, we have produced the desired culture. From the desired culture, we will extract the proteins, isn't it? Now these proteins they will be subjected to a series of processes like the separation, purification. Okay, so once the protein has been made, now it will be subject to the separation and the purification process. and this product will also be uh, you can say formulated with certain preservatives like desired protein humko mil gaya hai ab us desired protein ke sath hum preservatives ko bhi add karenge so that uh, this can be marketed easily and this particular formulation then will 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 undergo the clinical trials and the strict quality control testing procedures <coughs> ab aapka jo product hai jiske andar humne प्रिजर्वेटिव्स भी ऐड कर दिए हैं प्रोडक्ट को सेपरेट कर लिया है प्योरीफाई कर लिया है वी हैव एडेड द प्रिजर्वेटिव्स राइट एंड वी हैव टेस्टेड वी हैव टेस्टेड इट फॉर द सेफ्टी एफिशिएंसी एंड रिकवरी एंड द कॉस्ट हमने ये चारों चीज़ें जो है उसको टेस्ट कर लिया है उस उस प्रोडक्ट को एंड वी नो दैट द प्रोडक्ट इज़ हाईली ड्यूरेबल इट इज़ सूटेबल इट इज़ हाईली बेनिफिशियल फॉर द ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल चेक्स हैव बिन डन 
now after the after it passes all the checks okay we will send it to the market so all the procedures that are being performed once the product has been obtained from the uh, microbial uh, you can say from the uh, bioreactors all these processes they are categorized as downstream processing okay so once we have got the process so the purification of the process uh, the product then the extra extraction purification adding the preservatives into it and uh, whatever techniques that we are performing on that particular product all clinical trials right we are checking the suitability we are also checking the quality controls to ye jo sare process hain inko hum collectively kehte hain downstream processing theek hai as you can see here also in the picture also we are getting the products then it is it is being separated then it is passing the processing all all things and the purification is being done the concentration is being done so all these processes are being performed on the product till uh, you can say the company or the person gets suitable results and once the suitable results are there then only that particular product can be launched into the market right and this downstreaming processing or the quality control testing it varies from product to product right it varies from one product to another all your methods like downstreaming process methods and quality control methods they are different for each product that is being manufactured so a pro uh, you can say your recombinant dna technology it undergoes the six different processes and after it passes all the processes then it has to it has to be launched to the market right then only it will be launched to the market okay everyone so in the end i can say that basically all the six steps that is isolation of the genetic material cutting of dna specific locations amplification insertion then obtaining the gene product and lastly the downstream process they are very very important and they are have to be performed in a particular desired sequence okay okay everyone right so if there is any doubt anybody has anything that you want to know it from me you can ask or you can contact me personally on my personal number so with this topic you'll be making notes of the topic you have to read the page numbers 201 to 204 and you have to complete all your ncert questions right and if there is any doubt any query anything that is left you will talk to me most specifically there are black as i every every time i tell you once you read the page numbers be specific there are certain words which are highlighted with black so you need to understand those words very very uh, carefully right okay so that's all for today bye everyone